Um, so the first thing we're going to talk about is uh, getting creosote buildup off of your off your door. Um, so for those of you who don't know, this is not actually glass. I'm sure you call it glass. I call it glass all the time. It's not actually glass. This is ceramic. Um, or it should be ceramic. Now, uh, I guess there might be some fireplaces out there that have this made of glass, but it, it's supposed to be made of ceramic. Um, so a lot of times, if you you know, over time, your your glass will build up with this black creosote, and sometimes if you get it really quick before it's gotten cooked on, you can just take and wipe it off. It comes off just like soot. But when you get this really really hard build up like right here, where it just does not want to come off, you can take a little bit of still wool. And you don't have to put any kind of cleaner on it, see? You can just scrub it. And it will come straight off, see? This quick little pattern, circular pattern. And every bit of it will come off. Um, it's a little bit of work. I'm not going to sit here and just scrub this whole thing clean while you guys are on camera. I'm going to take 10 or 15 minutes. But, I mean, it's not it's not that hard. But, it, and, you know, you don't have to actually go out and try to replace the, the ceramic. You know, you can just take and just scrub it clean, see? Every bit of that come off. It's not hard. It just takes a little bit of a little, little bit of elbow grease, a little bit of time, a little bit of patience. It's not hard. Um, if you are running a H1 uh, N1, I think this is, uh, like I am. Anyways, if you're running this in particular insert, uh, you may be struggling with some stuff that I struggled with. Um, so, of course, you need to be making sure that you're keeping your ashes swept out and cleaned. Um... But if you pull off these blower sides right here, and you see that one's loose where I've already had it off right here, see? Um, and you look up in here, let's put this light on. If it'll come on. Uh oh, won't let me turn it on. Okay, well, anyways, um, if you look up in here, you see how there's a little bit of dust and stuff? Well, that dust goes all the way down and under, and right in here, this little, this right here pushes a flap up and down. That'll get filled with, um, with dust and dirt that will keep air from flowing from right here into this, which allows updraft to, to feed your fire. So make sure you're keeping your dampers clean. Pull this, pull this right here off, and then get right down in there with a little brush or uh, maybe a really tiny vacuum if you have one. Get all that dust sucked out. It'll make it easier. You've got them on both sides. Both sides should absolutely be, uh, should be done. This right here also feeds into here. Uh, this right here is your minimum flow uh, opening, so make sure that's blown out. Do maybe compressed air to get that clean. Uh, so realistically, you should be able to run your fire with both of these closed and your door closed all at the same time. Um, what else? Uh, well, for those of you that don't know, if you haven't seen my other video. Um, when you're running your fireplace like this, do not do this to get the fire burning hotter. You're gonna, that's what's causing all this black buildup around the glass right here. It also causes excess creosote buildup in your chimney. It causes a house fire, so don't do that. Um, if you're needing to replace the blower on your Ashley insert, like I need to right there, that is a radial blower. Um, you're not gonna be able to find an identical blower. I don't I, see this blower is gone altogether for me, right? You're not gonna be able to find an identical blower uh, from a big box store. If you want to replace it, you're gonna have to go to Lowe's and buy you a radial blower. Uh, go, you can Google radial blower and you'll see what I'm talking about. But you're gonna have to get a radial and you're gonna have to modify it to fit inside your Ashley insert. Um, that's what I'm gonna have to do. And I've, I've looked around for a while. I cannot, for the life of me, find an identical model to match. Um, yeah, I hope this has been informative. If you guys have any questions, comment below. Uh, give me a subscription if you like these videos. We're going to keep trying to make them and make sure you guys are taken care of. Thanks.